Nine forecast. And we have just a few fair weather clouds up in our blue sky this evening. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. I like to call these cumulus clouds pancake cumulus because they're flat. They don't grow very large in the atmosphere, a sign of very stable conditions in the atmosphere. That means very dry conditions and the dew points are in the 50s, low 50s, relative humidity is very low in the low 40s. So right now we're at 75 degrees, but over the next few hours with the dry air, like the desert, it's going to quickly drop into the 60s and then 50s overnight. A few areas may be as cool as the upper 40s by tomorrow morning. So heading out to uh, those high school football games or even Fridays after five, you might need that lightweight jacket or even the sweatshirt after sunset, which is now just after 730. And your five o'clock temperatures are in the 70s, low to mid 70s in Harrisonburg, Stanton, Waynesboro, and Louisville. Louisa, and we're going to see as cool as the upper 40s of portions of the Shenandoah Valley by daybreak with a little bit of patchy fog. Dry skies will continue. I guarantee it all weekend long on NBC 29's live Doppler radar network. No showers, no thunderstorms, at least in that uh, long term outlook. Even it may be a week from now before we see some important showers and thunderstorms around here. So enjoy the dry weather while we have it. Also, we have that northerly wind flow keeping us on the dry side with that low relative humidity, lower dew points, a breath of fresh Share, you can give your air conditioner a break again overnight and for a lot of tomorrow and tomorrow night. You have to head all the way west of the Rockies, really west of the Continental Divide to see showers and thunderstorms. So we have several more days and nights of no rainfall in sight. So as we look ahead into next week, this weekend, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, not many rain chances at all. Even with that front in the northwest heading our way by the end of next week, our rain chances still aren't very high. So I don't see widespread showers or thunderstorms in that long term outlook, mostly because a ridge of high pressure is going to build across the east coast, including our area, and that means a little bit of a heat wave will head our way beginning Sunday and will last through Wednesday. Daytime highs well into the low, if not mid 90s over central Virginia, and that would be heat wave conditions. All right, your forecast for tonight, a quick drop in temperature from the 70s now through the 60s and then 50s by daybreak, a few upper 40s in portions of the valley by daybreak, cooling on down to the mid to upper 50s, and that's about uh, five degrees on average below average for this time of the year. So yeah, not bad at all. Now with the cooler overnights this time of the year, ragweed goes to town. This is the heart of ragweed season now. So if you suffer from ragweed, yeah, you want to be noticing that over the next few days. So we have high levels of ragweed pollen really until we get the first frost until later on in October or November. So tomorrow we have college football as Illinois comes to town over at Scott Stadium taking on UVA. Uh, 11 a.m. kickoff, mid 70s and dry. A high sunburn index though with highs in the lower 80s and upper 70s, low 80s to do it across both sides of the Blue Ridge with a dry atmosphere. Seven day forecast, one more night in the 50s tomorrow night and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, low to mid 90s and more humid and a couple of storm chances by especially next Thursday and a week from now.